We have just about two and a half weeks until Red Dead Redemption 2 releases on PC. We are actually that close to the launch of the game, and it's kind of crazy to think about to me, and while we're fast approaching the launch of the PC title, it is sure to be some of the slowest days coming up as anyone actually interested is probably waiting anxiously for that time. But during that time, you may be considering what version you have coming your way, or maybe haven't decided which of the two versions you will end up getting come launch, to which I wanted to make this little guide to help you out. A little buyer's guide, if you will, to help you determine which version of Red Dead Redemption 2 gives you the most bang for your buck. And today, we're going to be examining the variations of Red Dead Redemption 2, what both editions of the game affords you at its specific price point, and then I'll give you my thoughts on what deal is the best for you as a player. Hopefully this can help you out, to which feel free to let me know which version of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC you will be getting, and if you do go on to enjoy, consider dropping a like down below, and if you want to stay up to date with all content coming up per pertaining to Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC, be sure to subscribe if you are part of that 70% of viewers that are not subscribed. So you can stay up to date and stay filled in on the daily with all things Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. But anyways, let's talk Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. On PC, Red Dead Redemption 2 has a very similar setup to the console editions, but there are some other amazing pre-purchase bonuses and opportunities you only have a few more days to take advantage of before they're gone forever. So let's just start off with these pre-purchase bonuses. As a general note, these expire on October 22nd of 2019, and you must pre-purchase Red Dead Redemption 2 using the Rockstar Games launcher. So if you've tuned into this video after October 22nd of 2019, unfortunately, you've missed this window to act on these bonuses and you can feel free to click ahead to the timestamp on screen right now to jump right into which copy of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC is right for you. But for the vast majority of people that will watch this video before that date, you guys have six free games in addition to your purchase of Red Dead Redemption 2 you can choose from. And as a pre-purchaser, you are entitled to choose two of these six free games on offer, and the games are Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Bully Scholarship Edition, L.A. Noir, and Max Payne 3. I also want to give a brief introduction to all six of these games so you can make the best decision on which two games may be the right choice for you as a player. So starting off with Grand Theft Auto 3. It was released in October 2001 and it's set within the fictional city of Liberty City which is based on real life New York City. And the game follows Claude after he is left for dead and quickly becomes entangled in a world of gangs, crime, and corruption. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, on the other hand, released in October of 2002, and it's set within the fictional Vice City, based on Miami, and the game follows Tommy Versetti following his release from prison. After he's caught up in an ambush drug deal, he seeks out those responsible while building a criminal empire and seizing power from other criminal organizations inside of the city. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, released in October of 2004, and the single-player story follows Carl C.J. Johnson, an ex-gangbanger who returns home to Los Santos from Liberty city after his mother's murder. Carl finds his old friends and family in disarray, and over the course of the game, he attempts to re-establish his old gang, clashes with corrupt cops, and gradually unravels the truth behind his mother's murder, and the plot is based on multiple real-life events in Los Angeles, including the rivalry between the Bloods, Crips, and Hispanic street gangs, the 1980s and early 1990s crack epidemic, and the LAPD Rampart scandal, and lastly, the 1992 Los Angeles riots. Now, the Bully Scholarship Edition, the special edition of Bully which released in 2006 and set within fictional town of Bullworth, the story follows a student and his efforts to rise through the ranks of the school system, and the open world design lets the player freely roam Bullworth. Players control teenager James Jimmy Hopkins, a student who is involuntarily enrolled at Bullworth Academy. He discovers that the school is filled with bullies and becomes determined to bring peace, ultimately becoming more respected among the town groups. Jimmy is expected to attend class, which is a main gameplay aspect, and in the Scholarship Edition, it features a two-player competitive multiplayer mode where you, as two players, can compete for the highest score in different classes. Now, the last two games on offer here, L.A. Noir. It released in 2011, where the story is set in Los Angeles in 1947 and follows a Los Angeles Police Department officer who solves a range of cases across five divisions. Players must investigate crime scenes for clues, follow up leads, and interrogate suspects, and the player's success at these activities will impact how much of each case's story is revealed. Now finally, the last pre-purchase game you can choose to download and play for free is Max Payne 3. Released in May of 2012, and throughout the single player mode, 
Players control Max Payne, a former detective, and nine years after the events of the second game, Max becomes employed as a private security contractor in Brazil, but quickly becomes entangled in a quest filled with death and betrayal. An online multiplayer mode is included with this game, which allows play of up to 16 players to engage in both cooperative and competitive gameplay in recreations of multiple single player settings. So those are all the options you have in terms of which two free games you would like to download and play along with your discounted purchase of Red Dead Redemption. Too. And the reason I say discounted is because Rockstar Games is entirely getting rid of the standard edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC if you decide to pre-purchase through the Rockstar Games launcher. And what I mean by this is now the special of edition of Red Dead Redemption 2, the edition tier above standard, is offered for sale at standard edition price of 60 US dollars, and the ultimate edition, the edition tier above special, is being offered at special edition price for 80 US dollars. These prices work out to be different in the following currencies. The special edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 will cost 80 Canadian dollars, 46 Great British Pounds, and lastly around 54 Euro, while the Ultimate Edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 will cost you 105 Canadian Dollars, 62 Great British Pounds, or around 72 Euro. And the key takeaway here is the edition you are getting. The Special Edition offers lots of bonuses for the single player and story mode of Red Dead Redemption 2, while the Ultimate Edition offers everything in the Special Edition, so all of the single player bonuses plus additional bonuses for Red Dead Online Red Dead Redemption 2's incredible multiplayer counterpart. Now, I'm sure once pre-purchase offers expire on October 22nd, there will be a standard edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 on offer for 60 US dollars, both on the Rockstar Games Launcher, on Steam, and other platforms, but that will not include the free upgrade to the special or ultimate editions of the game, and you will also not be able to take advantage of other Rockstar Games Launcher pre-purchase exclusives, like the Outlaw Survival Kit for Story Mode, essentially a theme for your camp which includes out Outfit accessories, the Warhorse for story mode, which is a large and confident mount you'd probably find handy, the Le Trésor de Mort treasure map for story mode, a fun little quest you can embark on to find gold treasure, and a cash bonus for story mode, or 50 free gold bars for Red Dead Online. So that is everything you as a player will receive if you decide to pre-purchase Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Rockstar Games launcher, but what exactly is included with these two editions of the game, and which is right for you? Well. Let's jump into the Special Edition first. The Special Edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 includes a bank robbery mission and an extra gang hideout in story mode, the dappled black thoroughbred horse, the Nuevo Paraiso gunslinger outfit, the talismans and medallion gameplay bonuses, other gameplay boosts, cash bonuses, and discounts, as well as free access to additional weapons in the story mode, which are the free varmint rifle, pump action shotgun, and volcanic pistol. The Ultimate Edition, on the other hand, has those exact same bonuses, so everything for the single player and story mode, as well as four exclusive offers for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. These offers include bonus outfits and the free Survivor Camp theme, the Black Chestnut Thoroughbred, which is a really great starter horse to have when you finish the prologue and online, and free access to additional weapons, which are, again, the Varmint Rifle, the Pump Action Shotgun, and the Volcanic Pistol, as well as a rank XP bonus up to level 25 in Red Dead Online. So now the big question. What edition of Red Dead Redemption 2 do you get a better deal with? Well, for me, just like when I purchased the game on console, I purchased the Ultimate Edition. I wanted both single player and multiplayer bonuses because I would be heavily invested in each mode, but on PC, I may only purchase the Special Edition because I'm really hoping we'll be able to take advantage of transferring our console character and account stats over to PC, so I won't necessarily need or even be able to use the bonuses since I already own an Ultimate Edition copy on console. But for those of you who only want Red Dead Redemption 2 for the single player and don't mind not having some of those neat gameplay boosts to help you hit the ground running in online if you ever do decide to try it out, I would highly encourage you to purchase the special edition of the game as you can save $20 that would otherwise be spent on the ultimate edition where you would just have the online bonuses and offers just kind of sitting there not being used. For players who want to experience both single player and multiplayer and plan on dumping countless hours into the online after you've experienced everything the story mode has to offer, well perhaps the ultimate edition is the right choice for you. The bonuses that come with the Ultimate Edition honestly really helped me last year, and like I said, the camp theme will help your character's health, stamina, and Deadeye cores, which are an important feature to maintain in the multiplayer, just think basic survival aspects, and the free horse is very fast. It's a race horse and only gets more stamina and health the more and longer you ride it. The access to those three free weapons are really good as well, 
The shotgun will save you in gunfights at a low level. The varmint rifle can be used for you to hunt small game animals, one of the main ways of making money when you start off in the online, and the volcanic pistol is just a really good sidearm to have at the ready. All of these weapons are unlocked past rank 10 or possibly even rank 20 in Red Dead Online if you do not get them for free with the Ultimate Edition, and the amount of in-game dollars it will cost you may take hours and hours of gameplay to actually save up for. So if you are into multiplayer games or you plan on just more than testing out the multiplayer of Red Dead Redemption 2, then the Ultimate Edition is the right choice for you. So right there, I think, is where we are going to wrap it up. I just want to make it clear that my word is not gospel, so if any other version totally speaks to you, by all means, it's your money. You do with it as you want. I just hope that I could shed some light on the versions of Red Dead Redemption 2, what you get, and potentially what has the most value, because at the end of the day, it is your money. So why not spend it wisely? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button so you guys can stay up to date with all things Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. If you'd like to get connected with me a little further, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram are the best places to do so. I practically live on all of those platforms, and I do live stream every single day on Twitch.tv at 5 p.m. Central Time US. If you guys are interested, all three links can be found in the description down below, but you can also follow me at Hazardous HDTV on all three. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Hazard, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Adios, amigos.